offensive kind of level performance? Do you feel like oh, yeah. you finally saw that time? Um, you know, not the best of it. You know, we're just seeing a little part of it. Um, wait till we get at all five of us quick and on the court together. No matter who it is, you know, I think we're doing a great job of that in practice. You know, trying to um, you know, get our lineups right, and playing with each other. How far do you think you are from that? Um, not far, not far at all. You know, if we play like energy, especially on the defensive end, like we can, that just that we don't have to worry about offense. You know, it's going to come. Jordan said you guys don't really talk about the Big Ten race and implications coming into this game. Why? You guys focus on the Big Ten title so much during the year. Why didn't you talk about? Specifically, um, this game, how much it meant. I think everybody kind of knew. You know, it was it was nothing to be said. Um, I thought that we did a great job preparing for Michigan State. Third you know, uh, not looking not looking past this game or anything. We wanted to win um, this game, and we heard you know kind of a lot of talk off the court. Uh, you know, from Michigan State fans, blah blah. blah. You know, you know how it goes. It's a rival game, so we definitely wanted this. At, the, at this point in the season, with so many teams being in the race, is it just sort of a, I mean, I know you guys go one game by one game mentality, but especially focused one game by one right. game mentality? Especially, you know, only a couple games left. Um, that's the way we have to be. You know, like I, uh, we'll, we'll come in tomorrow, watch film over this game, and after that, it's over. You know, um, we have to stop celebrating this game, move on to Purdue. What does a season sweep go over Michigan State mean to you? Well, it means a lot. You know, especially going in there uh, into Michigan State last year, you know, getting blew out. Um, that, was, that wasn't a good, great feeling. You know, and to, to be able to get the victory both times uh, means a lot to us, especially our senior Jordan Morgan. You know, this be his last time playing Michigan State. We want to go out there and get the victory. You know? When it looked like uh, sort of like last year a little bit with you cutting back door and moving right. without the ball and yeah. getting those kind of buckets, what was a bit? How, what did you see from Michigan State's defense allowed you to get those? Um, you know, once Nick and Kerr started hitting shots, you know that opened, kind of opened up the floor. You know, Trey and Tim, you know, everybody knew who they were, got to hit shots, and they kind of opened up the floor, and I just read off of them. Um, same thing with Kerr. You know, I, I had a couple drives, a couple times, and Nick went back door, and so did Kerr. So I think um, we're playing together, you know, and, and, and playing off each other to get those kind of type of looks. Did your eyes sort of light? Up when uh, Nick sets you up with that feed at the end there. Yeah, yeah. She threw it up because we had just talked about it. I told him if it's there, just throw it up. I'll go get it. So that's what he did. It was a tough catch, but finish it. It's been a while since you guys have been able to run like that. How how much better offense operate when you guys are running yeah. instead of the time going on? Um, you know, it all comes from getting stops. You know, once we get stops, we're able to push the ball, um, that gets everybody excited. You know, gets everybody a touch. You know, and that really feed off that. How much did you guys feed off Nick's play today? Obviously, he scored a lot of points there in the second half. Right. A lot, you know. Like I said, he took over the first half, uh, the beginning of the first half, the second half. Um, you know, he hit some, hit some tough shots. You know, and we see that all the time, but um, I haven't seen him like that in the game, you know, in a while. So. I'm uh, just happy to, to see him hitting those type of shots. I know he can, and that opened up everything else. When did you guys feel like you guys were taking control? Of the um, once we got out a couple times in transition, the second half, uh, the crowd got into it. You know, um, I, I felt that actually Zach Herbert had a dunk in the first half. Um, you know, I just went crazy, and so did the fans. And from that point on, I knew we could do that. You just kind of go back to that 21-4 run, just kind of talk big picture what went well there, and did you kind of see them breaking their will? Or is it talk about the team and their Right. Yes, 